everybody. What's up? Happy Pod Day! Yeah! Oh! Woo! Welcome to the C Plan Do Show with me, professional life and business coach Gary O'Neill Jr., uh, consultant, business coach, life coach, relationship coach, CPR instructor, DJ, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All right, go read my bio if you want to know more. All right. Mr. Gary O'Neill Jr. And as always, please, please, when you see me in the store, when you see me at my favorite cigar lounge, please, Gary O'Neill Jr., don't forget the junior shout out to Pops. And also, and, and also thank you. All right, so let's get right to this show. So I want to welcome everybody to the C Plan New Show with me, Gary O'Neill Jr. Happy pot day. Shout out to my return listeners. Hey, shout out to new listeners. Hey, thank you. Thank you for signing up, man. People that's watching this on YouTube, okay? People that's listening to this on any of your favorite streaming platforms and my special, special supporters, my Patreon fans, wherever you're listening to, however you're listening or watching this too, thank you, thank you, thank you. We have a yet another power packed podcast on this show today we are in our second uh wedding season series we're in episode nine wedding season part two and i have an amazing guy jeffrey perkins will be joining us in the building today all right with our appetizer i'm going to be talking about a couple quick ways to deal with anger and frustration all right and so as always let's get straight into our c plan do moment of the week Sponsored by, you guessed it, Heart Savers Maryland. Heart Savers Maryland is Baltimore's best CPR training facility. They are currently offering adult P, uh, adult CPR, pediatric CPR, children's CPR, babysitting, BLS, bloodborne pathogens, all of the trainings that you need to either just learn the skills or that you want to use them for your company or your organization. All right. Please contact them directly by hitting up heartsaversmd at gmail.com. That's H-E-A-R-T-S-A-V-E-R-S-M-D at gmail.com. Or you can call them, 443-602-0648. And they always sponsor our Seed Plan Do Moment of the Week. And this is entitled Monkey Bars. All right. Getting over a painful experience. A painful relationship, a painful situation is much like crossing monkey bars. You have to let go at some point in order to move forward. All right. That is your C plan D moment of the week entitled monkey bars. So hold on to those monkey bars. And while you need to let go to keep moving forward. All right, so you know we stream right ahead with our song of the week sponsored by Green Light Entertainment. This is another banger. Listen, you need to be following all of the songs that I play for the C plant for the Green Light Entertainment song of the week. Here's another banger coming right at you. All right, all right, all right. That was your song of the week sponsored by Green Light Entertainment. All right, so Gary, hey. Can we get into the appetizer of today? And again, we're on, well, this is episode nine, all right? And this is part of my wedding series. So this is wedding season part two. And I have my guy, all right? My guy, Jeffrey Perkins here today. And so here is your appetizer, all right? Your appetizer talks about five ways to deal with anger, all right? I'm pretty sure you get upset. I'm pretty sure I get upset. And so, hey, how can you deal with anger? So let's go with numero uno. Number one, think before you speak. If we, at times, I'm pretty sure when you get upset, it's time to load the clip. And when we load the clip, we start firing off whatever we want to say, whatever we've been, we, we've been saying, things that we have not uh, vocalized. But guess what? Before you start letting loose, before you start firing those hurtful, hurtful shots, Think before you speak. Just take a moment. If you're on the phone, get off the phone. If you're in the house, walk around. 
get out of the room and just take a moment and think before you speak. Ask yourself, what is it that I'm angry about? What is angering me? Because I promise you, as your life coach, I get angry at times. And I even have to work on not just firing off at people. So just number one is think before you speak. Number two, once you're calm, express your anger. And what that means is once you're once you've calmed down, just you can express the anger. You can say, I am upset because of this. Express it. OK. But when you're talking with the person, place or thing, you don't want to just act out of anger. You can express it. You can tell them why. Because when you're in, when you're angry, there is a reason why you're angry. So let's solve the problem. Let's solve what made you angry. And, and by calming down, taking a moment to think about why I'm upset, you can create solutions. Number three, get some exercise. Guess what? When you're upset, you get pent up. You get hyped up. You know, those are, you're feeling upset. You're moving around. Hey, go work out. Go do some jumping jacks. Go do some push-ups. Go walk around your local track or go to the gym. Get that out. Expre expel all of that energy out somewhere else. Because if you don't, it winds up being in the form of hurtful thoughts. It might be actions. So make sure that you go ahead and get some exercise. You'll feel good afterwards and you'll be able to think clearly and you'll be able to do one and two. Number four, take a time out. If you ever watch a professional sport sporting event, basketball, football, any one of those, when one team is getting beat, when it's really a lot going on with one team, usually the coach calls a timeout. So if one team is really kicking the other teams behind, people are getting upset, they're making they're they're having issues, they're fumbling the ball, they're doing all these things by taking a timeout. You're removing yourself from the situation, being able to assess what's going on, and that way you get back into the game. All right, so take a take a time out, okay? And number five, on five ways to deal with anger, identify possible solutions, okay? What are the things that we can do here? All right, what are the things that I can do? What are the things, and I like to use that again. What are the things that I can do? How can we solve the problem? All right, so that's your appetizer for today. And your appetizer, as always, is lit. <laughs> you thought it was gonna be sponsored by somebody, but those are your five, those are your five pieces. Those are your five appetizer pieces. All right, so please make sure you write those down. Go over it again. If you're watching this on YouTube, rewind it. Listen to it again. Okay. One, think before you speak. Two, once you're calm, express your anger. Three, get some exercise. Four, take a time out. And five, identify possible solutions. Those are your appetizers for this episode. All right. So now, without further ado, can we get, hey, Gary? Yes. I've had, we've had the appetizer. I'm not upset anymore. Can we get straight to our entree? Of course we can. All right. And your, your entree sponsored by, you guessed it, Lalone Clothing. Guess what? This is something that my son made. If you can check this out, you'll be able to check this out on the website. But you can get, if you want to support the show, you can get some rate. You can get some podcast merch as well as other shirts and sayings that I have on those shirts that they match your vibe. So make sure that you head on over to LaloneClothing.com. That's L-A-L-O-N-E Clothing.com. So that way you can get some of these vibes, okay? All right, get some of these vibes. L-A-L-O-N-E. And so here, episode nine, all right, wedding season. And again, this is a series. So part two of the series, I have my guy Jeffrey Perkins on. So guess what? Let's get, let's get, I call him Jake Perk. But let's get Jeffrey Perkins on the line right now. All right. There he is. And let me make sure he's good to go. All right. Jeffrey, what's up, Jeffrey? Oh, there we go. How you feeling today? What's going on, man? What's going on? How are you today, man? 
man, I'm magnificent. The weather's beautiful. The light is beautiful. It's sunny outside. Great fall vibes. Great color leaves. And I'm just happy. Man, that is awesome, man. You know, I had, I, of course, when I thought about the wedding series, I thought about, hey, I want to have a really dynamic uh, wedding planner. I want to have different people. And of course, I had to have my guy, Jay Perk, on here because he, we just did a wedding the other day. So yeah. why would I not have you on? Actually, last, yeah, last Monday. So yeah. he was working. And guess what? You may not even realize it, but this hoodie, this hat, Guys, if you go to the show.com or you go to my social media pages, the outfits that I have, the professional photo shoot that I had, guess who shot it? Yeah. Jay Perk. So why would I not have that person here? All right. So, Jeffrey, can I read your official bio as I do with everybody on the show right now? Absolutely. All right. <clears throat> All right. Mr. Jeffrey Perkins, CEO of Jay Perk Productions, photography and videographer in the Baltimore and DMV area. He shoots weddings, promo videos, portraits, and more. All right, without further ado, let me officially welcome Jeffrey Perkins to the show. All right, yes, you're right. The weather is beautiful out here. Ravens are winning. We're looking good. You know, everything's happening, man. So guess what, man? I know you watched the show. Yeah. So can we get into... As always, with every guest on the show, can we get into my favorite segment entitled Fuego Rapido? <laughs> and this is where I ask the guest on the show while having my finger on the end interview button some questions that I need to know. All right. All right, Jay Perk, can we get into that? Let's get it. All right, first question. Oh, I like this one. Oh, I'm going to put it up to the screen so you can hear, and I'm going to read it out loud. If there was a sandwich named after you, what would be on it? All right, so named after me is basically saying a sandwich that you like. So I'm not going to name drop because I know you just some sponsorships, but it's a supermarket chain out here that got the best subs. That oh, I, I know it. Tasted, oh. That I ever tasted. So when I order that, I get, uh, dang, what I get? All right, it's hit me. Uh, it's like some spicy mayonnaise, lettuce, okay. uh, some banana peppers, turkey, provolone, cheese. Get it cut into fourths. Best sub ever. Like, get a little spice in there, not too spicy, but nice sauces, nice flavorful. Oh, and wheat bread. You got to get the wheat bread. So a J. Perk sandwich would have spicy mayo yeah. on, on wheat. Yep. Cut All right. Four. Cut into fours. Toast what, what's in the sandwich, Jay? Oh, yeah. Lettuce, tomatoes, turkey, provolone cheese. We can say that. Yeah. Cheese, uh, some banana peppers or some sweet peppers. Keeping it real good. Okay. I like I like that, man. Yeah. I'm going to have to hit up that 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 place. I think I know. I know what you're talking about. Uh, but guess what, Jay? Right. We don't. Okay. They are not a sponsor of the show, so we're <laughs> not gonna say their name because if we say their name, I gotta send them an invoice because they gotta cut the check. They gotta cut it. They gotta <laughs> cut your sandwich into fours, and they gotta cut my check. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. I like that. I, I, I might have to try that. I might have to, I might have to get that move. Man. All right. Here's question number two. All right. Which talent would you most like to have? Ooh. That's oh, a good one. Okay. Hmm. hmm. Oh, it's it's not really a. It might be a talent, but if I could just speak many different languages effortlessly, yeah. like, life would be complete. Like I just go boom over here speaking, bang. Go to this country, I can speak their language. I think that'll be as far as talents, memory, and all that lang ling linguistics type vibes. If I was on that. Mm, I'll be, I'll be. I, I, I like that. That's a, okay. So speaking multiple languages, you're right. You're right. All right. Last one. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. I know the faithful listener of the show said, hold up, Gary. There are two important questions you did not even ask him. And you're right, guys. I apologize. Uh, -oh. uh Jeffrey, number one, wings, flat to a drum, sir. It don't even matter. Like people, people really out here like making a debate on like they taste dag on there the same. And for real, for real, I like to get the whole wing because I like to eat the wing part too. But 
It tastes the same. When I but when I go like Buffalo Wild Wings or any of these places, you get definitely get it fried hard. Like you know that, that that's that's a given. But a flat a drum, man, it don't matter. All right, so judges. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. Correct, correct, <laughs> Jeffrey. The answer is C, all of the above. It doesn't matter. Okay. All right. No, now, now, hold up. Let me put my. Let me put this finger on the end interview button. Uh oh. -uh. Jeffrey, world-renowned photographer. I've seen all of your work. You got you out here in the streets. Yeah. When we, when we went to go do our photo shoot, you didn't even take me into places that I was like, oh, if we do graffiti alley. Shout out to people who get graffiti alley shots. I said, but if this man take me to that, no, nah, we was out here, yeah. okay, in the in the streets. We were in the streets, but I will end this interview yeah. on this one question: What are your thoughts on candy corn? Oh, you about to hate me? I love candy corn, man. Hey, that's, that's hey, sir, you oh. don't watch the show. We are candy corn. I you are part of the candy corn crew, Jay. Listen, candy corn be hitting. That's my favorite. Like, let me turn this hat around. Let's go, Jay. It is so good. Like, I love it. It give me a little heartburn, but other than that, I love candy corn. Like, I can. Get it, it. It, let me turn my head back. Let me <laughs> tell you guys something. I just want you to pay attention to the people who come on this show that say that they like candy corn. They are dynamic. Just, just start <laughs> writing it down. Everybody on the show is great. But I want you to listen to the dynamic people who say they like candy corn on the show, man. All right. All right. One last one. All right. Thank you for playing Fuego Rapido. All right. I like this one, too. This is a really good question. What's one bad habit you're trying to get rid of? Ooh, that's what? a good one. Man. Bad habits. You know, bad habits like my man Usher. All right. What, what bad habit are you trying to get rid of? Probably not working out as much, man. Like, especially you when you're young, right? You, you be running, playing with your friends, and you just be so active. But as an adult, you ain't really got to do none of that. So working out becoming a chore. But all that being said, if I could just get more in that running and uh, lifting, riding my bike, I just be lazy on that. Like, real. Yeah, so working out more. The excuse, like, nah, not today. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. Thank you for playing. Fuego rapido! All right, man. That was that was fun, man. Thank you for that. I, I was worried. I, I, I <laughs> almost took you for a person who despised candy corn, but I'm so glad that we can still keep doing photo shoots. Because if you'd have said, hey, I don't like candy corn, I'd have had to start Googling right now. I'd have had to ask Alexa for photographers in my area. But I'm glad. Now we got to do a photo shoot now. And <laughs> Jeffrey, can we do a photo shoot where I take the candy corn and I throw it in the air like LeBron. Can I do that? Can we get that shot? Flash and then freeze all the little candy corns in the air. <laughs> you, that's why you the guy. <laughs> all right, man. So let's go right into, uh, so again, episode nine, wedding season series part two. And I have Jeffrey Perkins, CEO of Jake Perk Productions, photography and videographer. All right, and so... As I, as I told people before, we're doing this wedding series. And so as you know, you know, and I know as me being a wedding DJ, you being a photographer out here. The first thing is because you, you're really great at what you do. What made you want to get into photography? All right. So we starting back. So really, honestly, 10 years coming up, J Perk Productions on October 23rd. So that's like the anniversary hey. logo on youtube like the intro was like yo i'm gonna make a production company and you know do my thing but a little bit before then in 2010 what prompted me was you know i had a little point and shoots everybody had the point and shoots and i was just out there just like i like to take the pictures and then i had the hd tv and i like to watch the pictures on the tv and it's just silly stuff like me just chilling like all types of just weird funny stuff and just to document those moments and just have it watch it and all that high resolution on the tv it just took me back. I was just like, I like this. So in 2010, um, was at Morgan, got my first MacBook Pro, did a little bit of stuff on the iPhone 4 as far as like editing and stuff like that. As far as the video, bought a camera, the T2i, started taking more pictures and learning that game and doing video on that. And then just kind of progressed and started with the music videos. And then in 2013, I got a full frame camera, uh, the 6D, and started doing portraits. And then it just started, you know, to trickle on from there. So it was just one of those things, like getting a camera, liking it. If 
find an actual camera and then working on that. Oh man, that's dope, man. That's that's awesome, man. And you and then, like I said, make sure you guys check them out because there's some really, really good shots, you know, that really, really capture the moment. Uh and I, and again, I told you if you go to my go to any of my websites, any of the professional photos. Now, I personally don't take good selfies. I need somebody to teach me. But them professional photos, though, the profile pictures, the one with me with this hoodie on and my hat. Hey, Jay, Jay, Jay had me out here. All right. Feeling like I and I got a whole bunch of shots. I'm going I'm to I'm upload them all. When we drop this episode, you can go to the page. You can be like, why is all these shots? You gonna see all the shots that we've done. All right. So, uh, OK, so that's why you got into photography. OK, so let's let's so we're going to jump on both sides. I want to talk about the photography, just all types of events. But of course, with this pop, with this episode, we want to focus on weddings. So yeah, right now we're going to be getting into wedding season. You know, you and I both know that things are limited. You know, a lot of people probably are not having weddings as they should. People are going to start gearing up and mm -hmm. having weddings, you know, next year. All right. Mm -hmm. Hopefully everything works out. We start resuming things back next year. So you're going to have people listening to the show that might have recently got engaged. They're ready to start back up. So what advice would you give wedding couples that uh, oh, as far as needing to understand about the idea of wedding photos and getting a wedding photographer? Mm, probably what couples need to understand. So essentially, I would say they just need to understand what they want. Uh, and it's relatively straightforward, but whether you're doing an intimate wedding and something that's going to be one and two hours, three hours, something relatively short, whether you want photo and or video, and then like, you know, what, what locations you're going to be at. So, and the planner will help with that as far as like logistics and stuff like that. But beyond the planning and the logistics of how many hours they may or may not need and what type of coverage, I would say what type of style of photography that they like. So whether they're looking on Pinterest or any mood boards and seeing a vibe and then matching that with a photographer that is on that level that does that same thing in line with their vision. From there, you know, the Instagram, the Facebook, the Google, it's uh, so many people you can reach out to and find the right person. And then from there, just kind of matching up um Finding somebody with great customer service that will answer your phone calls, your text messages, your emails, give you straightforward, you know, answers and things like that. That way you leave the call feeling like, OK, boom, I know what this person does. I know what it comes with. And if I do have any additional questions, you know, it's nothing to reach out to them. So to wrap it up, I just feel like they just finding the style that they like. And then finding somebody they can talk to and understand what that particular business offers. OK. So you know, I think that's the biggest thing. So, so what? So, I'm pretty sure you've dealt with some people who have come to come to you with a notebook of shots. Yeah. Versus, you probably had some people who said, "Hey, just do your thing." Which person, like, which couple do you like? I mean, it doesn't really matter, you know, because, um, you know, so why does sometimes be so fast paced? It just be boom, 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 boom. And, and oftentimes, in some situations, we got time to do all these extra photos and all these extra stage photos. But realistically, we'll go to um, sometimes we get like an hour right before. So, boom, we, we meet him an hour. Lady putting on the dress, dudes putting on the suit, whatever, whatever. Going to the ceremony, I'm switching off and doing all those shots. Then right after that, we setting the lights up, going to the formal photos. And then since, since a lot of weddings run 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes behind, they pressing us like, yo, what time y'all going to be done these photos? Because we try to get into the reception as far as like the planners and whomever, right? Yeah. So it's like a lot of expedited stuff. But sometimes when people do give me the list, like the last one I shot, they gave me a nice list. And with some great combinations, they were like, and I had it on my, okay, let's do that. Let's boom, round them up, put them there, boom, 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 boom. Okay, we're going to do this next. So either is fine. I think, I think the biggest thing is give us some time, like give us some time. That, you know, just so we can really, even if you book an extra hour or two, but you got to coordinate that with the planner and the venue and have a, you know, if got to fit the budget. But if it can fit the budget, get more time because you can get more photos. And sometimes if you get married in like these summer months, like we good now, but it's so hot outside and you sweating bullets and you got to expedite this and expedite that. Sometimes you just got to take it slow, get into these portraits and then go into the reception and have fun. Hmm. 
Yeah, I, I did not know that you could go to a photographer with Pinterest stuff until one of my friends that I was a part of their wedding, I saw the photographer looking at different shots on Pinterest. I said, oh, okay, I didn't know. I, I didn't. I guess I never thought about it. But that was pretty dope to see. And then I started looking at some of the wedding shots, and they were really, really good shots. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, cool. All right, so pretty much sort of get an idea of what they want and sort of plan it out and just have a have a conversation and a relationship with that wedding photographer sounds like what you're talking about. Absolutely. All right, so let's talk about those do's and don'ts. Let's start with the do's first. So right. what are the, so you already gave a little bit, a little little tidbit on, hey, making sure you plan but what is what are some of the do's that a wedding couple should do? All right, so you're you're you got your wedding, you got everything going on. In re in reference to getting a wedding photographer, in reference to the shots and stuff like that, what are some of the do's that maybe people may not know? All right, so make sure you got an understanding of coverage time and you know what time you want the photographers to actually start. Now, I know for me and, you know, my people, like, if I say I'm going to start at 3, I'm going to get there a little bit early. That way, at 3 o'clock, cameras are clicking and we working, right? So start time, finish time. Um, another, we, we doing the dues, right? Yeah, we, yeah we're doing the dues right now. Yeah. 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 A couple sure, of more dues. Yeah, yeah, so make sure you understand the start time. Make sure you know what your package is coming with. So mm. this, you know, you get photography. Are they going to be all digital edits? Are you going to get a photo book? Are you going to get many prints? Make sure you know what your stuff is coming with. Make sure another do is get somebody with great customer service, somebody that you can talk to, somebody, even if something does go wrong, you know, y'all have a conversation and the artist, the business owner, photographer does everything in their power to make it right. Um, and another do is just have fun. Like, like I, I know it's all posy posy picture picture, but at some point enjoy the moment, soak up the moment, and let us take the brunt of like the stress of the day. Mm -hmm. and just have fun. Like it, it, I don't think it's worth it because all that planning y'all do to get it to this day, just for those few hours, and you stressing about silly stuff. So just enjoy yourself. We'll take on all that and have fun. Yeah, I definitely like that last one on having fun because, you know, it's a, it's a lot, especially if they don't have a, a wedding planner and still stressed out. OK, mm -hmm. so we, we we covered a lot of these. You high, highlighted, you know, getting a, a, a photographer with a great customer service ethic, uh, figuring out what you want, uh, being able to have this conversation, being able to do those things. Let's get to the don'ts. Jack, yeah. what are some of the don'ts? I mean, don't try to like, so if you're looking for a particular tier of uh, wedding photographer, wedding videographer, and like your budget don't fit, I'm not even going to really say don't because, you know, budget is kind of rigid, but don't go too cheap because weddings happen once in a lifetime, sometimes a couple of times for some people, but <laughs> <laughs> lifetime, right? And, you know, I, I've heard stories, like I had this one situation where the dude or whomever, it was a dude and a lady. You know, they was getting married. We did the video. They got, they went cheap on the photography. And then y'all gonna come to me like, hey, can you take stills from the video and make a photo book? And I'm like, my G, it don't work like that. So, oh, wow. Because he, he didn't like, he didn't like the images and stuff like that. So it's like, at some point, you know, if it's in the budget, spend that money because you'll get a great photo, great video. Um, Another dudes, if they exhibit bad customer service, if you feel like you got to send three or four messages for them to reply once, um, if you if, if you get off the phone and you feel like it's not a good vibe, like I have people I talk to, clients and whomever, like I've talked to them and I'm like, yo, this vibe ain't right. Like, mm. I, and I also noticed too, like if I'm on the phone with somebody, you know, I'm not married, nothing like that. But from the other side, when I, when I get off the phone with somebody and, and if our conversation is almost combative or back and forth and like we haven't even booked anything yet, I know it ain't going to be a good relationship we're working. So take those cues, look at those red flags in, in that element. And if, if it don't feel right, don't go with them. You, you should have a photographer, a videographer that feels right, that feels natural. And I'm thinking that's all the don'ts. Yeah. So you're saying that on a $25 photo shoot budget, Mm. I can't, you can't Photoshop me or you can't have me a uh, whole video production. So I can't get 
a, a, a magical moment on, on the 25 out. You can't have me coming in on a white horse. You shooting the horse. Then I jump off the horse. None of that. I can't get that for 25 for the 25. I mean, you, I mean, however much that horse gonna cost. I mean, it ain't twenty five. Like, we just saying twenty five. You know that can't. That's where it. the budget went. It went to the white horse. I had to bring it in. Yeah, to- yeah, I, I get it, and, and and I and I see, and of course, it sounds like that's what you keep bringing up as far as having a good relationship, being realistic about your budget, right? Because I'm pretty sure you get people who want all these things. They want magic, uh, you know, Magic Kingdom production, but. They, they ain't got it. They want the movies. They want the documentary. They want, you know, Morgan Freeman narrating it. They want somebody playing. They want a whole band playing the background, but they got to gotta put it together. Yeah. Okay. All right, cool. I, I like that. I like how you focused mainly on the, the customer service and relationship aspect, because I never would have thought about you really do need to have a relationship with the photographer, so that way it flows and that way it looks good. Okay. Absolutely. All right. Um. So we talked about the do's. We talked about the don'ts. Okay. So walk us through. Okay. So so that way, somebody who's getting married for the first time, mm-hmm. walk us through a normal day in the eyes of a wedding photographer. You, This is the day. So walk us through, you know, because I know you probably think about weddings and stuff. Of course, they're amazing days for that, for the, for the client. But mm-hmm. we're looking at it like events. Like I look at it like, hey, I have to play music here. This is that. So walk us through. So that way people can get an idea of what it looks like from your end. Give us an idea of the a wedding day. All right, boom. So, you know, before, you know, bags already packed. You know, I got the lenses, got the memory cards formatted. Um, let's say we're doing both photo and video. So I got memory cards, two camera bodies, multiple lenses, accessories, everything that needs to, everything to work. I have my lights. And I have my tripod and monopod. So carrying all this stuff in a particular venue, boom, I get there. Let's say, let's say it's all in one, like a hotel type thing. So you go to a hotel room, the actual ceremony reception are downstairs. So into the hotel room, knock on the lady's door. They're gonna need 10 minutes. You know how that goes. So we wait 10 minutes in the hallway mm-hmm. telling. I have two other shooters, photo, video, shooting the fellas or the other couple, whoever, you know, sometimes the same sex, whatever. So they they doing that. I'm shooting the other ones. Um, so we get in there. We introduce ourselves. Hey, X, Y, and Z. We start with some details, get some detailed photo and video shots. Depending on how much time we have, of course, we get the bride, you know, in a robe and details and sometimes the bridesmaids. But sometimes, like the last one, we had ample time. So for the last the last wedding, we got the bride with everybody, every bridesmaid solo, Um the dress, of course, plenty of details, ins and outs. We got a lot of variety there just because we had time. But a lot of times it'd be an hour before the ceremony. Everything's still running late. And then sometimes we got to even drive to a venue. But if we everything is all at once, we might, you know, we'll get the bride. We'll, of course, get them putting on the dress. We'll get some details. But it's all bang, 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 bang without even thinking. Going from there, we get set up for the... Um, the ceremony, right? So the ceremony, I do a three camera video setup. One of my shooters on one side, I'm on the other side and the camera in the back. But of course, you know, if it's in the back in that middle aisle, you got to wait till the couple walks down. So I had the two photographers shooting as, you know, people coming in and uh, the guests coming down. I'm shooting the video as they're coming down, mic'd up on the groom, crystal clear, beautiful audio. And mm-hmm. then the bride comes in, is all the way down the aisle up front. They all stand in there. I put the camera in the back. Got these two cameras facing over the shoulder. Photographers running around getting their great images and just putting it together. And then from there, boom, switch over back to photo, get into the formal photos, grab the light, flash, boom, take them to their designated spot, whether it's outside, whether it's in a special room, wherever it's at. Um, and, and really to find those places too, like, I'm like, I'm like in the moment. Like, so I look like mm, we could probably shoot there or we could probably shoot in the ceremony space or we could definitely go outside wherever we'll make it work and we'll set it up. Big group, the whole party, boom, just the ladies, just the fellas, parents, any other combos, bride and groom together, groom and groom, bride and bride, boom, 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 boom. boom. All right, we done with that. Let them drink a little bit in cocktail hour. And mm-hmm. then I'll, us two are shooting. I'll have two people in cocktail hour getting a cocktail hour vibes. People in their fits, just boom, drinking, you know, posted up group photos. Reception, 
oh, they come through, big cheers, bride and groom, and then we just document all those ceremonial yeah. things, video. And I mean, it's and then and then then you get the free food too. So you know, I like I like to get the free food. So <laughs> they serve the food like like some weddings we don't eat. You feel me? Some weddings they give us. I I got like little weak vendor meals. And then this last wedding, and then one wedding in 2018, we had our own table. Like we were really like taken care of well. So everything in between as far as the food, but look, look, if it's free, I'll take it. So you know. so as as he just said. Take care of the vendors. You heard that? Get a table for them. All right, get those shots. G give us, give me, give me one shot that you really like that you find that you use a lot. Like, well, you know, maybe it's uh, I don't know. Uh, give us like one shot that you really like. All right, so on a, on the photography aspect, I like to use two lights. So one light coming from like right here, maybe the couple kissing, maybe they're holding, but it's like making kind of dark outside. Sprinkle a little light hitting their face, like how to light hit. Mm. I throw a little light, their face just like boom, just like that. Any time of the day, day or night, it just looks fantastic. Oh man, I like that, man. Man, thank you for stopping by. Give us okay. So for anybody who's listening, all right. What about if they want to get into photography? Maybe they want to eventually be a wedding photographer. What advice would you give somebody who wants to get into photography? I mean, if, if if yeah, if you want to get into it, start with your phone. You got your phone on you. Take great photos. It has really all the similar modes that a traditional camera will have. You got portrait mode. You got wide angle, close up. Um, you got slow motion, magnificent features. So play on that. Get on TikTok. Do some creative stuff. Uh, watch some YouTube videos on like the uh, different settings and how to use a camera. You know, find a camera to fit your budget. Practice, practice, practice. And if you passed all that. You know, hit me up if you're in the DMV Baltimore area. I'm always looking for people to intern, learn, even join the wedding team and really create in that same similar format that I discussed earlier. So you got options. All right, man. Man, I appreciate it. So you, so you guys heard it first. You have options. You probably have one that you're probably listening to or watching this episode right now on your phone. So I need you to take three shots and just send them straight to the uh, C Plan Do uh, social media pages. All right, man. So how can people, how can they connect with you? How can they get J Perk Productions to, to for the photo shoot, for the wedding, so you know, for the candy corn convention? How can they get you? Give us give us those deets. All right. So I don't know if this shirt gonna show up backwards, but J Perk Productions. No, it's coming out great. It's, All right, it's perfect. J Perk Productions. That's the website. That's the IG. So if you go to jperkproductions.com, you can hit that. Search me on Google J Perk Productions. IG, J Perk Productions. I got a wedding page, Weddings by J Perk Productions. If you like to travel around the world or in your local city, travel with J Perk Productions. And then I have a page where I show all the final products of like all my photo and video shoots, commercial and stuff like that. I shoot music videos. So I got the gamut on IG to really see the different aspects of the business. So follow me there. Check me out. Hit me up if you have any questions. You know, especially if you a couple and you just like, OK, I want to know this or know that or if you're actually inquiring. And then if you are a photographer, videographer in the DMV Baltimore area, you want to learn, you want to shoot with me, you want to join a wedding team, et cetera. Make sure you hit me up. I'm looking forward. And let me and let me say this, man. Jay is really super humble and really open to advice. All right. Even right now, if you're watching this on YouTube right now, I have a light box. Guess what? I wouldn't have got the light box. I, 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 I've asked Jay a million questions and he has been open. He, he's, he's put me down and, and said, Hey, you know, go here to get this and that and this. And, and you know, if you are, you want to deal with one of the best men and one of the best uh, vendors guys out here, man, please get with them, man. Like I always recommend you all the time, man. I appreciate you so much, brother. Thank you. All right, man. So that's the end of the show, man. Jay, I will hit you up. We're going to do that photo shoot. I got to throw the candy corn in the air now. I got I, to. Got to do it for that. Got to. That's probably going to. You know what? We're going to do that, and that is going to be the cover photo of the C Play Do Show. That, that's going to be the profile picture, me throwing the candy corn up in the air like LeBron. That's what I'm going to do. That I got to do that now. Yeah. Okay, I can't call this the C Plan Do Show and not just saw that in my mind. And we can't, we got to do it now. It got to happen. Go. All right, man. So, brother, I appreciate you, man. I know you got a busy schedule, man. So, I'll talk to you soon. Okay. All right. Greatly appreciate it. All, right. All right, my brother. 
right. All right, guys. And that is the end of the show. All right. Thank you guys so much. Hey, man, make sure that you connect with Jeffrey Perkins, again, CEO of Jake Perk Productions. All right. Make sure you connect with him. Make sure you talk with him. Make sure you book him for your photo shoot, for your birthday parties, for your weddings. Any one of those events, man, that you need somebody to shoot something, go ahead and get a shooter. Okay? All right? Please, 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 please connect with him on all those social media pages, social media pages that he posted. And I'll make sure I post them on all of the sites when we drop this episode. And as always, you can catch each and every show that drops on Tuesdays on the C-Plan Do website. You can check out this show, each and every show by clicking on the link, as well as follow us on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. I may actually do TikTok, but my kids remind me that I'm 40, so I don't know if I can get on TikTok. I gotta, I gotta check in with them, all right? <laughs> if you're looking to promote your events, your goods, your services, what you're doing out here, please make sure you connect with me. If you want to get sponsorship on the show, you hear that I do commercials. If you want one of those commercial spots, I have different sponsorship opportunities and packages. Make sure you connect with me. All right. Um, if you, this, this show is powered by viewers like you and as well as my Patreon fans. So if you're looking for bonus information, if you're looking to support the show outside of liking, supporting, subscribing, all those wonderful things that you guys are doing right now, I see the numbers. Okay. I see the numbers and I thank you. If you want to say, you know what, how can I financially support this show? That's how you could do it. All right. For the price of a cup of coffee, for the price of a chicken box, salt, pepper, ketchup, hot sauce, jumbo, half and half, little bit of ice. Okay. For all those wonderful things for a for a wonderful, wonderful, small minimum cost, you can greatly support this show, your favorite show. All right. And last, but certainly not least, man, thank you for listening to this show. You listening and watching this show means the world to me because guess what? You guys are the best part of the show. I said every show because guess what? It's people like you to make the show happen. All right. Thank you for checking out this show. Share the show, like the show, comment. What did you like about it? Okay. All right. Catch me next week with another power pack podcast. And what is it packed with? Is it packed with candy corn? Is it packed with wings? Nah, this time it's packed with the vibes. Okay. All right. Until we see each other again, man. Until we talk again. Until we share those special, special moments again. All right. Stay safe. Stay home. All right. Enjoy your time with your family. Enjoy your time with your friends. And always remember to see what you want to do. Plan that thing out and do it. All right. Enjoy the rest of your day, your morning, your evening, your afternoon. And as always, thank you. And you're welcome. All right. Bye.